and thank you for watching Creative Art Expressions with Christina. In this video I'm going to show you how to create my Star of David Snowflake crochet pattern. It looks like this one's done. Um, this one's in a blue and uh, I'm going to be using I Love This Yarn in the white metallic from Hobby Lobby. A size 4 worsted weight yarn. It says medium yarn. And I'm going to be using an H or 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You need scissors, a stitch marker if you want, and a tapestry needle to sew in the ends if you want. And I'm going to start with a magic circle. So if you haven't learned to do that, you can do that now. I'm going to take my two fingers and I'm going to lay the end of my yarn right over there, like this. And then I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to turn my finger like this. So then you have like what looks like a V. So I'll show you that again. So two fingers there. As I wrap this around, I turn my fingers towards me. I cross over at the bottom there. And I have a V shape like that. And then I'm going to take my crochet hook. I'm going to insert the needle right under that first one. And then I'm going to put it over that left one. And like that. I'm going to grab that. And I have my loop right there. I do have another video just on uh, learning the magic circle as well. So at this point I'm going to just chain one to hold my place there. And then you can uh, pull it a little tighter. And your first round for this uh, Star of David Snowflake, you're going to do six single crochet in that circle. So I'm going to do that. One. And I like to tighten the circle as I go a little bit. Two, three, four, five. And then six. If you don't want to do the magic circle, you can just use whatever way you usually do a start your circle. You can do a chain four and then slip stitch back into the first chain if you want. And then just do your six single crochet inside of that circle. Okay, so now that I've got my six, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to slip stitch in the first one. And that's my first round, and I'm going to make that tight circle there. So I have my first round done. My second round, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what to do, and then I'll show you. I'm going to chain five, and then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to do that six times. And the last one's going to end up with a slip stitch instead of a single crochet. Okay. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got my chain five right there. And I will single crochet into the next stitch. And if you just want to try to keep tabs of where you start, you can put your little uh, a, your stitch marker right there in the beginning of that round if you want. And chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet in the next stitch. And again, one, two, three, four, five. And single crochet 
and the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet in the next stitch. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet in the next stitch. We now have one, two, three, four, five loops. We're going to do it one more time. And instead of single crochet, we're going to slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do a slip stitch right there. And so your second round is done. And you should have six chain five loops. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We are ready for the third round. So in this round, we're going to chain four, single crochet into the loop, and then chain four and slip stitch to the single crochet that's between the loops. We're gonna do that six times. So I'm gonna start chain four, one, two, three, four. So I've got my chain four. And now I'm going to single crochet into the loop here. And what I'm going to do is take my stitch marker and mark that first chain four. And now we're going to do another chain four. One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to slip stitch to the single crochet right here that is between the two loops. I'm just put a slip stitch there, and then I will continue to do that all the way around. So one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next loop. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the next. Now if this is going too fast for you, you can just pause at any time and rewind if you need to. Got the slip stitch there. And chain four again. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next loop. Chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch into that single crochet. And chain four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet. And chain four. One, two, three, four, and slip stitch into that single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet, and one, two, three, Four, slip stitch, and chain four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet, and then chain four, one, two, three, four. Now you are going to, uh, this last slip stitch is going to go in the last chain of the previous round. So the last chain of the previous round is right here. Right before you get to the beginning of that current round. And you're going to go 
do a slip stitch right there in the bottom of that chain. Okay, I had to pause for a second. My daughter had interrupted me. So we just finished round three and you should have uh, 12 chain four loops. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I look like that so far. So we are going to start round four and you're gonna do um, two single crochets in the next loop. Then you'll do chain five and two single, two single crochets in the next loop and you're gonna repeat that around. So we are now gonna start back in this first loop and do two single crochets. And I'm gonna change my stitch marker right there. That's one, two single crochets, and then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and two single crochets in this next loop. And then you repeat that around. So again, you're going to go to the next loop and do two single crochets. One, two. So at that point you have four uh, single crochets in a row. And then you do chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Two single crochets in the next loop. And again, two single crochets in the next loop. basically between each chain five you're going to have a total of four single crochets they're just going to be split between two loops so chain five one two three four five and two single crochets and two single crochets there and chain five one two, three, four, five, and two single crochets. And then two single crochets in the next loop. And another chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and two single crochets in the next loop. And two single crochets in the next loop. And chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And two single crochets in the next loop. And then at the end of that round, you're going to slip stitch in that first single crochet that's marked to join it. And I'm going to take that out. And now we have finished round four. We should have um, six chain five loops. Chain five loops, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you should have 24 single crochets. Okay, and then we only have one more round to go. So round five, and you are going to start by single crocheting right in that Stitch, you just do a slip stitch in. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to mark that. And then you're going to do another single crochet in that single crochet. Now you're going to do uh, in this loop here, you're going to do three single crochet at pico and another three single crochet. And I hope I'm saying pico right, I'm not sure. So 
I will show you how to do that when we get there if you don't know. So three single crochet, one, two, three, and to start your picot, you chain three, one, two, three, and then you slip stitch in your first chain right there. So just do a slip stitch in that first chain of the chain three, and there you have the picot made. And then you're going to continue down the side of that loop and do three more single crochet. One, two, three. And now you are going to single crochet in each single crochet. So you're going to do four single crochet there. One, two, three, four. And then you're just going to repeat that around. So in the next one, you're going to do your three single crochet. One, two, three. And you're going to do your picot, which is chain three. One, two, three. And slip stitch in the first chain. And then another three single crochet one two three I hope you can tell what I'm doing with this white sparkly yarn and then you're gonna do another four single crochet one two Continue doing that. A three single crochet in that next loop. One, two, three. Sorry, sometimes my thumb gets a little cramped. Okay. And three single crochet for the pico. Slip stitch in the first chain of that three chain. I don't know, I could have just said all that wrong, but I think you can tell what I'm doing. Okay, three more single crochet. One, two, three, and four single crochet. One, two, three, four, And then three single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three. And you've got your pico now. So chain three. One, two, three. And slip stitch in that first chain. And then another three single crochet. One, two, three and four single crochet in those four single crochet one two three four getting to the end here let's do another three single crochet in this loop one two three and do your pico stitch, which is chain three. One, two, three. Slip stitch in that first stitch. And three single crochet down. One, two, three. Four single crochet across the four single crochet. One, two, three, four, and then three single crochet in here, one, two, three, pico, picot, I should have looked that up to see how to pronounce it, <laughs> two, three, and slip stitch into that first chain, 
and another three single crochet. One, two, three. And then you just have two more single crochet there. One, two, and you can slip stitch to join to that first one again. Okay, and then once we uh, leave a long tail, this is going to be it once you stretch it out a little bit, but depending on what you're using the project for, another snowflake for, if you want to connect a bunch of snowflakes to make a garland or just make an ornament, or if you want to sew it on a blanket, just leave enough um, yarn to do that. Probably just turn this one into an ornament. So I'm just going to finish it off there. That take out my stitch marker, and you have a pretty snowflake. I call this my Star of David snowflake because I think it looks like a star. So, um, pretty. I'll have two more snowflake patterns coming. I think this is probably the longest one, the other two will be, I think. If I remember correctly, I wrote these last year. So you have a pretty snowflake that you can make into an ornament. Make sure you go ahead and weave these in. Weave that in with your uh, tapestry needle. And then you can just turn this into a ornament for Christmas. And if you notice my pretty nails, link in comments if you want to try these or purchase some. So. 100% nail polish strips and I just started selling them with Color Street. So I'm just going to throw that in there if you're interested in some pretty artistic nails. Thank you so much for watching and if this has helped you, if you've liked it, I just would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I've got more free, free crochet patterns coming. So give me likes, thumbs ups, and share the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.